Um, Julian Court has started showing an interest in, in, I wouldn't say me, but the things around me. Uh, I'm just I'm quite happy to let you guys talk and air what you want to say. And, you know, just well, I'm here as well. I managed to reboot Skype on my iPhone. Oh, I like the like box. Well okay. Golden. I've been, li- I've been listening with great intent. I've got a few things to say, which might clear up a few problems. Well, that's what tonight's about, was the open platform and open mic. Mike session, so oh crap, can't feel free to talk away. How are you, Golden? Oh, thanks. Uh, uh, thanks to all your listeners as well. Uh, basically, uh, if, if you go back to when I first became involved with Julian, was when and he set up a meeting uh, uh, surrounding with Patrick Cullen down in Basingstoke with a guy called Jason Green who lost his property, he's lost his wife. Uh, and um, Jason Green had asked me to uh, compile uh, a, a dossier on the people behind uh, his problems, which I linked into 788, 790, finishly wrote. Uh, and uh, that was my, my main entry with, with Julian Coulter, who set up a meeting in Bayes in Stoke. It's all recorded. Um, and that, that's where I met a group of people. I think it was six people, six males and one female. However, it progressed from there to a few uh, uh, sort of meetings. He, he, he actually came to my house up in Derby uh, with his with his dog in, in a van and I'll say this my my partner was very unhappy she felt very uneasy in his uh, um, his psychological profiling of other people however I'm I'm not here to to, to slap anybody I'm just a, I think, a reasonable researcher when it comes to document recovery. And I've been through the Royal Court to just this with, as everybody knows, Andrea Davison. However, at the Leeds meeting, Katie managed, uh, well, I just walked up to the bar to go and get a bottle of water. Trust me, I don't drink. Um, and as I was walking up, I saw Katie uh, confronting Julian in a very, very uh, um, heated moment. And then when I got to the bar, uh, Katie came and spoke to me. She, she will confirm everything. And I think uh, she t- talked to me for about an hour, but very, very highly emotional. And as, as I say, as an ex-military man, I'm, I normally work under great high pressures and uh, even in the mining industry. So I, I try to get it to calm down. 
and I gave, gave her a business card for, for her to contact me with her, her friend that was with her. And I never heard anything more. However, I, I followed with great interest the Facebook um, altercations that has gone on between a few people. However, I've done a lot of research into various people interconnected with Julian. And that includes his partner. Now, I'm very, very, very good at document recovery and understanding uh, how the mechanics of how individual companies and their admin agents are interconnected to thousands of shell companies. And I'm very, very good. I'm not going to disclose this on, on tonight, but I have that information should it be required later on. However, I've just listened to Patrick Cullinane say that he won the case with John Patterson. I'd like to, I, I'd like to make something very clear. He, he didn't win the case because that, that's why, that's why John, that, that's why John spent the, uh, to jump for a minute because what the concentration tonight is mainly on um, Julian. The, the, the yeah. God, the Bowden came up down here today. Fuck. Um, but I would. I looks like is. I'd like to jump in right, right there. Can I just say that this is exactly what he, he wants you to do, to do, and he, I have seen the man's work to see and destroy any form of relationship between you, you two to bring down the system in the knowledge that you two are able to share between each other and in between that John Patterson got caught up and if John Patterson can confirm this he was on the phone to Julian multiple times especially the day before he handed himself into the police but what I will say is you have very good men being able to put their knowledge together but you've had Julian come in and cause conflict and also confirm to me that he would be able to cause a triangulation by saying things between each other. And if, if you find out at, at the same time that you, Patrick, and you, you Gordon, you're both in, in contact with Julian, and in my opinion, this has been psychologically set up and triangulated for you to argue. Well, I, 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 I spoke to Julian and he called me up uh, two days ago. Uh, and uh, we had a heated argument to which I uh, eventually slammed the phone down on him uh, because I don't want to for I, I, I work in a military uh, environment and I'm quite well, quite well versed at working with various people with psychological aspects and trust me what, what I said to 
to him, I, I eventually slammed the phone down on him. I do understand that he, he operates under various pseudonyms, uh, which I, I'm not going to go into. But I, ha I have no interest in Julian Coulter. But what Katie t told me at the bar about Julian, I took back and held a, a, a great respect for you, Katie. Great respect. Um, and I will help anybody in that circumstances because I've got three nieces who suffered exactly the same. And I told her that. If it wasn't for you, Gordon, actually kind of pulling me out of the situation, and I was in an emotional meltdown. I hadn't seen Julian or been able to get any questions or answers from him um, for four months and when I see him at Leeds and he triggered me I couldn't control myself I, I know I, I know I, I say I, you know I, I did try to calm you down a bit and uh, yeah look anything that I can do to help any group with those sort of uh, uh, issues, then I will do my utmost. Trust me.